Hi, I'm Nate and you're watching Photo Learningism. Let's get a quick tip on how to use outlines for anything in Krita. Okay, so the first obvious thing you might want to work with is just an everyday object. How do you add a border or an outline around that? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my color differently just so I have the kind of outline I'm looking for. You can make this really any color. I'm just looking for high contrast and black is a good option for that. So then what you do from here is you would use the selector. You may have to play with the settings just a little bit to get to select what you want under the tool options. You may have to play with the threshold a little bit or the feathering just to make sure that it's gripping around the things that you have in your object. Once I select, I started with just the empty space. It's just easier to do that and then invert the selection just to get the other side to get the inside of what I want. The easy way to do outline is actually really interesting. It's just not intuitive. <laughs> Uh, what you would do is go to select grow selection and then stack that up a couple of pixels. I'm going to do five just so it's very obvious. And you can see how that expanded the reach of that selection. And really from here, all I do is use a fill tool or something like that to fill that. And I'd probably want to add another paint layer just so I don't mess up the thing I'm doing. But I'm going to do that. And there we go deselect everything you can see how i have a very nice even border or outline around that object now that's fine for somewhat simple objects that have some simple curvature but what about more complex objects well we can look at it this way and i've kind of covered this approach before where you can convert this actually into its own selection so what we can do is duplicate that first because it'll take over the thing that we're using, and that'll become clear in a moment. I'm going to right click on that and say convert to selection mask. And it jumped over here. It assumes that it's jumping on the top thing, the topmost item. You can just drag that on top of the thing you want. And then I'm going to reselect the layer and you can see how that is now perfectly selected that object. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to spend lots of time trying to trace it and get it right. So same idea. I am going to go to back to my selection, go to select, grow, give it a little more growth. You can see how that changed. And when I go back, I can see how that has sufficiently grown that. I do need to add another layer just because I don't want to accidentally uh, <laughs> paint on top of that. And same idea, I drag my selection mask on top of the new layer so I can use it there instead of on this one. Uh, that way I don't paint again on what I'm doing. I'm gonna go back to my fill tool. I've already got black. And as I click on to it, it may take a couple of clicks using this way. For some reason it messes with the transparency, but it accomplishes the same thing. You can see how that is a nice even outline all the way around. Didn't really have to do much at all to achieve that that enhancement. Now that's great for, again, objects, you've simple and complex objects. What about text? Let's look at that. So if I go to my text, okay, and I want to put an outline around this. First thing you will have to do because vectors don't allow you to, to work with them as an object. So first thing I'd suggest doing is making a copy we can hide the one away that actually is a vector and I'm gonna convert this one, right click, convert to paint layer. That way we have a little bit more flexibility of what it is. And similar to how I handled the complex object, I'm just gonna duplicate it. Right click, convert on the duplicate to selection mask. You can see how that's got everything that I need because it was already topmost item and I already selected it. So then I'm going to follow that same idea of select, grow selection, and we could make this, you know, more or less. I'll make it bigger this time so you can get a better idea. And once again, I'm going to add a paint layer so I don't disrupt what I've already created. And I'm going to drag that down, move the selection mask on top of that. So I work with that. And then go back to my fill tool one more time and just start putting that in. A couple of the clicks, because again, it has kind of a funny transparency thing sometimes, but it doesn't really change the end result as long as you give it a few clicks. And I 
deselect and again you can see that is a nice even outline even on text so nice and easy just took a couple quick minutes and clicks and just knowing where and what to click on to achieve what you want so once again i'm nate this is photo learningism i hope that's interesting to you if it was please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't done that already so you don't miss out on the other great tips we do in this channel we do a lot of work with open source technologies like Krita, like kden live which is a video tool but check out the other videos i'm sure you'll learn something interesting i love it when we all work together on things so do please comment and share your experience and let's learn and grow together thank you so much for spending your time with me and i look forward to seeing you at the next video i love y'all